سبحان الله والحمد لله ولا إله إلا الله سبحان الله والحمد لله ولا إله إلا الله سبحان الله والحمد لله ولا إله إلا الله You compare that love and compassion with your attitude of khalas you scratch my back i'm gonna scratch yours i'm gonna pay you back you have done good but you haven't done a fraction of what she did for you and this is the reality of the rights of our parents our brothers and sisters final hadith a man came to the process and he said oh messenger of allah my father has died is there anything that i can do to 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 to, uh, to basically bring him benefit so if your parents are alive of course you need to do as much as you can physically and financially and be in touch with them and call them and have good relations with them and visit them as frequently as possible. If one or the both of them have gone on, the rights of the parents don't end even after they have left this earth. So the Prophet said, Ajal, of course, there's so much you can do. And he said, Ad dua ulahuma. You make dua. Uh, what, uh, dua what is istighfar ulahuma. You make dua for them and you seek forgiveness for them. So you make dua. What is dua for in this case? Oh Allah, make their qabr a vast place. Oh Allah, increase their ranks in Jannah. And you make istighfar number two. You say, oh Allah, forgive their sins. And oh Allah, uh, put away any evil that they have done. And then the third thing he said, and this is a number of hadith I'm putting together. The third thing he said we can do for the parents that have gone on. He said, you can give sadaqah on their behalf. And then he also said, you can sacrifice a hadi, an udhi, a qurban. You can do it on behalf of your uh, parents. And he said, you can go for hajj on behalf of your parents. And this is one of the best things you can do uh, as long as you've done hajj for yourself. And you can also do an umrah on behalf of your parents. And he said, one of the things which is commonly lost and not done. He said, visiting the relatives and the friends that your parents had and you don't have much relationship with them, but you resurrect those relationships. You resurrect those friendships and those uh, and those uh, 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 relationships in order to bring about basically that uh, that memory of your parents. So one of the things that we can do: you have distant relatives, they had friends, they're not a part of your circle of friends. You visit those friends and you visit those relatives for the sake of bir of your parents. Bottom line, brothers and sisters, there is a never-ending job that we have to repay back to our parents, a never-ending sadaqa, never-ending dua, never-ending istighfar. And this is a part and parcel of being a righteous Muslim. Let us see what is our relationship with our parents. Let us see what we can do to increase and better that relationship if they are alive. Final athar that comes to mind, I forgot the name of the Sahabi, uh, but one of the Sahaba's fathers passed away. And uh, he was crying very much at the funeral. And so one of the other Sahaba came and comforted him and, and tried to console him. And he said, oh, so and so, I am not crying just because my father has died. I know that inshallah he's in a better place now than he was in this world. I know that, but I'm crying because my biggest door to Jannah has now been shut. I'm crying because my biggest door to Jannah has now been shut. Think about this, brothers and sisters, for those of you whose parents are alive, that this is your easiest door to Jannah. And this is awsatu abwab al-Jannah, the, the largest and the middle door to Jannah. Think about this, that do whatever you can to help your parents, to have that good relationship with them. And the dua of the parents is the best thing that you can ever ask for in this world. Your parents will never stop being parents to you until you are, I'm, I'm already, alhamdulillah, in my 30s, right? My parents still, Call me up and give me advice. My father sometimes here, I said something at a lecture. Somebody comes and tells me, calls me up. Why did you say that? You shouldn't have said that. Correct yourself. My mother, she calls me up. It's cold in Connecticut. Are you wearing enough clothes? Is there this, is there that? I'm like, mom, I have four kids. I have to take care of them. She's a mother. She's a mother. Wallahi, it's in her nature. No matter how old I become, it doesn't matter. Parents are parents. And thank Allah Azza wa Jal that you have parents that are able to do this to you. Because there are many whose parents have gone on and they miss that love and tenderness. You're irritated by it, you're irritated by it. But there will come a time when you will miss it. Take advantage of it when it's there. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us righteous children and righteous progeny. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive our parents. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala cause us to be resurrected with our parents and be with our parents in Jannah al-Firdaus al-A'la.